to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at adding in our jump animation. This is something I didn't actually cover in the original FPS series, so this is something new. Um, now again, I've got a jump animation off of Mixamo, um, and we're going to be uh, implementing that today so that we have a jump. Now. There's a lot of different ways you can implement this. I'm going to go for a very simple way. I'm just going to add a jump animation in. I will add a falling animation in later on down the line when we know the kind of levels of scope and size we're going to be going for. But for now, we're only going to be doing little jumps. So the actual jump itself will be what I'll be putting in today. So now that we have our crouch and prone in, we're going to take a few things from here and just add them into our jump. Now, I also believe that jumping should take up some of our stamina. Uh, so there's a couple of things we need to do here. Let's put this one down here. We need to, first of all, check to make sure we are not prone or crouching. If we are, we don't want to do anything. But if we're false, we can jump. We also want to make sure we have enough stamina. So we're going to do a second branch check before that so we aren't crouch we aren't prone but now we need to check do we have enough stamina and i'm going to make sure we have quite a bit of stamina before we can jump and i'm going to make sure we have at least 20 stamina if that's true we're also going to minus 20 stamina like so and then we're going to set our current stamina. And then we can jump. So that should be the main bit of code for jumping. Uh, as I said, the only reason we shouldn't be jumping is if we are crouched or prone. Or we don't have the stamina. So we're checking to see if it's... So just to go over again, on the triggered, is crouching or prone set? No, it's not. Do we have more than 20 stamina? Yes, we do. And then we can jump. And also we reduct that stamina by 20. So now that that's done, there shouldn't be much else we have to do in our uh, third person BP. What we do need to do now is come back over to our animation blueprint and we need to create a new state. Now, when I do eventually set up the falling, we're going to have do our jump animation. And then we're going to see if we're still falling. And if we are, we um, set the falling animation. And then if we aren't falling, we're not in the air, then we go into this. But for now, we're just going to add in the jumping today. So create a new Boolean called is in air. I've already done it because I tested this out. Go into this plug is in air. Um, go into your locomotion, go into this one and say uh, is not in air. Not in air. Like so. Uh, compile that, uh, go back into the locomotion, and you should have is in air, is not in air, and then we just need to go into the jumping. And all we're, we're going to do is going to take the jumping animation directly and plug it straight in. Compile that, and we can give it a, give it a whirl. Now I've placed my oh, there's one other thing we need to do. My apologies. If we go to the anim BP, we go into the event graph. And what we need to do is, again, I've already done it here because I was testing, pull out from the character movement and type in is falling. And then we need to plug that into is in air. Once you've done that, your jumping should work. So press play. And I've put myself up here just so we can see what's happening. So if I jump, it works pretty well. Oh, it took all my stamina. Okay.
That was weird. Okay, let's just replay that. Oh, it set it to zero. Weird. Okay, <laughs> we'll check that in a minute. Um, so, we are up here. And if I jump, you'll notice the animation just finishes before we hit the bottom. And we kind of enter that static. So that's why I'm going to do an is falling down the line. So let's have a look at our current stamina then. Oh. Okay. So everything crashed <laughs> and I lost a bit of progress. But I've got to bring back to how it was. Now, I actually did realize where the issue lied with the jumping. It's because I had it on triggered and I've moved it over to start. So it was like this. All I needed to do was put it on started just because... The triggered works like an event tick, so it was ticking along, and it basically, the longer you hold it down, because sometimes when I jump, I hold it down, uh, it's just like a force of habit thing, um, it just drained my uh, stamina, basically, um, but now it's working fine, it takes away 20, um, you can use it when you're not running, or when you're running, um, but as you can see, it goes down every time I jump now, so... That's something I've implemented now. So stamina is drained by jumping and also um, it works pretty well. I just need to implement the falling, um, but I get an animation and I will do that um, when I have uh, a moment, probably find something on Mixamo again. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you did, leave a little like, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do, you can always change your mind down the line. And for everyone who's here, thank you all uh, who's been here before. Thank you for your support, and I will see you next time. Much love. Take care. Bye.